Hi, today we're going to build a clone of Nomad List. We're going to go from having some data in a Google spreadsheet to actually displaying this data dynamically in a front end made by GPT engineer. Let's get started. Hello, everyone. Uh, I want to make a short demo today showing you how you can build uh, something very similar to nomadlist.com. Maybe you know it already. Basically, it is a website that was built by a guy called Levels. What it does is it uh, ranks cities based on how friendly they are to digital nomads. And it takes things into account such as the cost of living, the speed of the internet, safety, etc. And you can click into each of these cards and really, really dig into a lot more detailed information. So I won't start by creating a prompt in GPT Engineer. I'll start by going uh, and creating a Google Sheets because this will be serving as a very sort of lightweight database for this. In my case, I'm going to add an ID, I'm going to add a city, and I'm going to be adding a country. Now that you've added all the example cities that you want to start with, please make sure that you've set the access to the spreadsheet to be set to anyone with the link. In order to transform this Google Sheet into an actual API that can be consumed by GPT Engineer, I'm going to be using a service called SheetDB. Basically what it does, it, it takes a Google Sheet link and it makes a um, RESTful API out of this. It's super easy and they have a free tier which allows you to create a couple projects and do a number of requests before having to pay. Um, I'm going to quickly log in and create this new API. I'm going to copy the link of my spreadsheet. I'll click on create and just like that, using the URL they've generated, you have an API that can be consumed. Now that we have an API, we can go to GPT Engineer and we can start writing our prompt. So I want to build a web application that ranks cities based on how friendly they might be to nomads. I want this to be mobile friendly, use a clean design. I've sort of described three different sections, a nav bar, a hero that should explain the value prop of the web app, and lastly, um, the searchable list of cities. Um, and I've told it that I want a card per city that should show for now the name of the city and the country. Um, I'm going to add some extra information now describing uh, the API I wanted to use to create this list. The API to the API contains the list of cities is hosted in this URL. And what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to go back to um, uh, the URL and I'm going to co copy paste the content so it knows a bit what to expect. And I'm going to go ahead and click on generate. <clears throat> it seems like GPT Engineer has now built the first version. I'll go ahead and open the editor and see what it has created. Cool. So it seems like it has created some sort of hero with the value prop, we have a nav bar we requested, and we have a list of six cities that should match what I have in the DB. Now let's just make sure that this is actually connected. I'm gonna add a sixth city here, Cape Town, South Africa. And as you can see, it's picked up the new entry. Let's make some simple uh, changes to this to make it look a bit nicer. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some images to the cards to make it pop a little bit more. I'm going to use uh, Splash for that. They have this URL which you can add some tags to sort of define what we want. So I'm basically going to type GPT Engineer to um, add images to the cards. Make sure they are all the same. And they are consistent. URL plus the city. Nice. It seems like GPT Engineer now has added images. 
Um, just so you know, these images might change with every refresh. That's because it will just pick another random image. We're okay living with this for now. Awesome. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make it possible for users to click on these cards and get more detailed information about the city. And this should open a moto, a large moto. Awesome, now it's refreshed the preview and yeah, it's kind of done what I want it. I'll keep it like that for now. And yeah, let's go back to the spreadsheet and add some more uh, data. So our spreadsheet should show the example um, cities I created in the beginning. I wanna actually make this uh, a bit more of an extensive list. And um, what I'm gonna do is delete this for now. And I'm gonna show you something very cool that I think you will find interesting. It's basically an extension to Google Sheets that allows you to create and populate data using a ChatGPT. So I'm gonna go ahead on use GPT from the sheet. What this does basically, it gives you, um, it's a Chrome extension called Coefficient and it gives you a set of like functions that you can use to generate data. So I'm gonna create uh, I want a list of, give me the top 25 cities for digital, no. I'll wait for that to load. And then I'll create another prompt here. And I'll use a concat function and I'll tell it, give me the response bond with only the country name this city and then I'll do comma and I'll reference Berlin. So basically what this does is it's a function that um, well, it's telling JGPT to um, find a country of the name defined in cell uh, B2 and that should give me Germany. And the cool thing with this is I can really quickly just drag it down and it'll do the same for each of these values here. I'm gonna um, go ahead and add some other columns. It seems like all of this now is correct. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend the IDs. And what you'll see is that this has really created a full list of 25 cities with the information I generated with the help of ChatGPT. So what I'm gonna do now is to uh, tell GPT engineer about these new properties to include this new data in the card. And uh, population. Seems like it's ready and as you see it has included the description and the population in the card so this is how easy it can be to add new pieces of information to your api which is now a simple editable google sheets and then just tell gpt engineer to actually take that into account and to integrate into the web application so this is it we built a clone of uh, nomad list uh, we have some cities come from a database we have built using Google Sheets and uh, Sheets DB and we have a list of cities with some more detailed information when you click on the cards and it also supports um, search. Please let me know what you think. Uh, happy to answer any questions and uh, see you later.